ladies and gentlemen, I'm Amy Ruiz with Keller Williams Realty and I'm here with your monthly market update. The majority of the economists believed that a recession was going to take place in 2020 or before. Back in 2018, that number stood at 67%. Here we have a recession. Going back just a couple of months ago, October 2019, still more than one out of three thought that we were going to have a recession at 34.2%. But in a January survey, only 14.3% believed that we were going to have a recession this year. I know we've, we talked a lot about the possibility of recession. However, we are in the largest economic recovery in the United States history. Right now, economists are just pushing it back. And the interesting thing is that one of the reasons they're pushing it back is that the housing industry, industry is doing as well as it is. In fact, they, they are showing numbers confirming that year over year, buyer activity has increased substantially. And it's increased in every single region. The West, the South, the Northeast, and the Midwest are all seeing more buyer traffic in this year than they did the same time last year. That's been confirmed by the existing sales um, report by the National Association of Realtors. And because mortgage rates are still below 4%, people want to buy houses. Across the country right now, buyer activity is very strong. As a matter of fact, from a survey of realtors, we can see that in, in almost every single state across the country, the buyer traffic is very strong. As you will see the map, the dark blue is very strong buyer market, the gray is weak, and the light blue, like in California, is stable. The amount of people looking to purchase a house is, increasingly, is increasing dramatically, but the amount of people ready to sell their house isn't reaching the same levels. George Ratui, senior economist at Realtor.com said, the market is struggling with a large housing undersupply. The number of homes for sale are poised to reach historically low levels. The month of su the month's su supply of inventory dropped to three months. As you will see by this map, the homes for sale in light blue is stable. However, in the gray areas like in California is a very weak seller market. What does this mean if you own a home and are thinking of selling? Well, today would be your best time to sell while inventory is low. However, even though there's a big buyer demand for homes in today's low, low um, inventory market, it doesn't mean you should, you should price your home as high as the sky when you're ready to sell. When it comes to pricing your home, setting it at, at or be slightly below market value will increase the visibility of your listing in the drive and will drive more buyers your way. This strategy actually increases the number of buyers who will see your home in their search process. Why? The potential buyers look at your listing and see a great price for a fantastic home. They're probably going to want to take a closer look. Look, this means more buyers are going to be excited about your house and more apt to make an offer. When this happens, you're more likely to set up a scenario with multiple offers a potential bidding war, and the ability to drive a higher final sale price. At the end of the day, even though the inventory is tight, pricing it right or pricing it to sell immediately makes a big difference. Buyers, when you look at a home, don't think of overbidding the, um, underbidding the listing price unless, of course, the price is overpriced. Otherwise, you won't receive an acceptance. Uh, you know, you might lose that dream home. Whether you are buying or selling, let's meet and I can explain these strategies in more detail. Like the information on this market uh, monthly update? Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to my channel to be notified of future videos. And don't hesitate to call me today with questions or to set up an appointment. Let's talk soon.